Launching it. Here we go. Bushy versus Catalyst. Uh, going on the 10 second countdown here, and then go straight into three minute prep time. Let's see what the board has. Here three watchdogs in the center square. That's going to be interesting. Four yeah, there is the consumables only as well. That's a pretty early one. Gra um, oh. I don't. Ooh, yeah, Grafted Scion. That'll oh. be interesting. And Tree Sentinel, too. And Limgrave Tree Sentinel, yeah, yeah. So, if I, me seeing this board, I immediately want to just get any weapon to hit something with, like, that I can actually wield. Yep. Even if it's just, like, a short sword, right? Because being able to, like, get those two squares pretty early would be good. But also, on the other hand, uh, well, I guess for Tree Sentinel, at least, it could be worth it to just come back a bit later and have a bit more set up. Because I think with like these randomizer weapons and everything, it's really important to kind of get something usable and prioritize that kind of early on, maybe as well as getting like a square or two. So if you can do both at the same time, that's really great. Like the Limgrave Tree Sentinel, you can potentially get a good weapon from that because it can drop it. Um, Grafted Sion can also drop a weapon, although short swords generally aren't as good of a weapon class as something like a halberd or like but you do have something. square off on some short swords and that can be that is true huge yeah. on tree broad sword and long sword both have square off which are also starting class weapons normally so it looks like the players are looking through the starting classes now Ooh, i think that yeah it's a That's dragon, a dragon. Scale blade in yeah. the left hand which is very good um using the weapon art to applies like a lightning and frost effect to your to your sword for 45 seconds so it's a it's a pretty good buff yeah it looks like that uh catalyst is looking at the same thing as well by the way both of them kind of hovering uh the wretch class here for dragon scale blade which makes sense to be honest it's one of the best weapons to do bingo with uh you got yeah. dragon halberd this is pretty much a dragon halberd but on a stick rather than uh, a halberd itself uh so it's just pretty much just as good yeah, if not Katana's better. moveset is pretty good. They they've actually buffed it recently, making the running R one attack like twice as fast. It's it's pretty, pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, exactly. Also, for some people that uh, were wondering about the changes, by the way, so here you see now we moved we moved player two on the bottom uh, a little bit more because some of the people were like, "Hey, I can't see flasks, Dom. I want to see the flasks." So now you can see the items on player one's screen. Gold beans, gold beans. There you go. Flasks, man. Flasks. Minor adjustments. Flasks. All right, they have 30 seconds left. They're both just waiting, it seems like, now for this prep time to be over. Sometimes, yeah, you know, this, just think of the route. Yeah, I think sometimes prep time of three, three minutes is good because the board can be really complex with the classes. And sometimes it's a no brainer. You're like, okay, I already picked it. I already know what I want. I'm just going to sit here <laughs> yeah. and like hang out for a bit. Maybe think about. Mm -hmm. Uh, synergies that I see or or uh, a, a bingo line that I really, really want to go for. Um, and here we go. We're going into the match in three, two, one. Match bingo. is starting. <clears throat> All right. So, so yeah, I wonder. I, I would assume they're both going to at least attempt Grafted Sign. Actually, I don't know if the starting class had the stats to wield the Katana. Well, no, it wasn't. Uh, well, not the uh, Dragon Skill Blade, but the Shamshir, yes. Oh, the Shamshir, right, right, right. Yeah, so they will, they will be able to use the Shamshir here. I, I do wonder, though, if one of them is going to skip Grafted Scion and just go straight for Tree Sentinel instead, because that Tree Sentinel is a corner square where Grafted yeah. Scion isn't. So corner squares are, are definitely more valuable in, in bingo here because you block way more and you create more presence. So I would yeah. honestly, maybe even skipping Grafted Scion for this, I would make that play personally. I think that would be a way better... Uh, a move just to have more presence on the board. Ooh, looks and like Bushy. Oh, looks like they're both just ditching it right away. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Maybe they just aren't confident in fighting Grafted Sign. Honestly, I don't blame them without like a, a bleed or something. Uh, that fight can be a waste, kind of a waste of time, you know, if you just make like one or two mistakes. Yeah. It, it can be a little tough, especially because they don't have any healing until you actually go past yeah. Grafted Sign. So trying to deal with that boss pretty much no hit. Uh, can be really tough, especially with a weapon that maybe you're not as comfortable with. Uh, and the Curved Swords moveset is really weird, too, sometimes. It's, like, very flowy, so it's really hard to know exactly when you're able to, like, roll out of it or anything like that. Um, so I, yeah. I, I definitely get that. I would, I would do the same thing. Yeah, it can, it can be weird to learn that guy's movements. I'm, I'm sure, though, that they'll both go for this Tree Sentinel, especially now that they can grab a Grace right by in case they die, or... You know, as I was saying before the match started, they might take a bit of time to set up and maybe get some levels to use, like their their dragon skill blades that they have. Yeah, uh, this is interesting though because it looks easier. like that uh, uh, Catalyst already switched to dragon Ooh. skill blade and is skipping, also just first, skipping step the first steps. Grace. Yeah, 
Um, but uh, I think you might just be, be going, going for consumables only then right away. Maybe to, to buy the the daggers and go. Um, well, she's also which, yeah, the, those, those few seconds um, of you know skipping a grace can help a lot, but at the same time, not having that grace to come back to later can can also cost you. So it's a it's a trade off. I guess it depends on uh, like where you're going. Uh, Tree Sentinel, anyways, the Kale Grace is closer to Tree Sentinel, so ha not having that first step Grace is not the end of the world. Uh, but maybe for other things like going to Kaled through the uh, the tunnel, for example, uh, mm -hmm. you'd have to ride a little bit farther rather than going from first step. It takes a little bit longer. Yeah, and you see, as I, w I was saying, how Kato is very familiar with speedruns and stuff. He was at like the edge of the dialogue window where you talk to Kale, like you know, if you walk too far away for someone it'll cancel their dialogue so right when he bought the daggers he um steps out of the range and like jumps out off the the building um like to to min max the line to get to the consumable only it looks like bushy did grab the backup kukri so now he's even a bit more behind so if kata thing... is a bit hastier and misses then you know that could cost him the interesting thing to see here, though, is uh, stats-wise, I think 15 dex is normally what the samurai has, so doing this with 40 throwing daggers is just fine, but with the stats being shuffled, I don't know if they, uh, if uh, Catalyst has enough damage yeah, with Yeah, he's already halfway daggers. through his daggers and not halfway through the health bar, so he's going to need to land a lot more headshots if he wants to get this square. Yep, he's got 10 more daggers here. Bushy going into the arena now as well, but has Kukri's. This is not looking yeah. good for Catalyst. He might actually lose the square here. It shows how important landing those headshots are if you don't have uh, enough stats to just blindly deal the damage. Yeah. Um, ooh, yeah, and it looks like Kata is just short of like two or three daggers, so he's going to... Looks like he's just going to end up taking it out just or, to get the boss kill. Or die. But yeah, so that's <laughs> sadly for Catalyst, not getting like consumables uh, square. Yeah. That is very tough. That's the thing we talked about uh, with uh, with players before. Is look, make sure you have the stats in order to use only forty throwing daggers. Having that kukri backup is, is always really useful as in a safer strat. Uh, it looks like that yep. uh, Bushy is landing more headshots here. Actually gets and it within Bushy the forty. Bushy did it. Yeah, I think he used one kukri. I, I wasn't watching super close, but yeah, either way, landed a lot more headshots from what I could tell, and gets the the first square on the board. That is really tough because, yeah, Catalyst was faster there, had more prep and everything, and, and sadly just didn't have the stats or the Kukri's. Even if he grabbed the Kukri's, I think he would have been there first. Yeah. Um, Although Kata is now out of there earlier still um, and can potentially set up a bit quicker to go and grab some of these, like the, the Tree Sentinel Square or some other uh, early squares as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a little tough, but uh, at the very least... Um, Oh, we'll see actually what they're prepping for. Maybe they go for Tree Sentinel now. Uh, I think Catalyst might just go for full prep here. Yeah, it looks like he's going straight to Stormhill Shack now. Um, Bushy might go for Tree Sentinel. I, I personally, I would. I, I really would. Uh, I think that Corner Square yeah. is like super valuable, and it's a Halberd drop check on top of that, so you might yeah, get a good. Yeah, generally halberd. the Halberds are, are pretty good. Yeah. So uh, you know. I mean, like the Dragon Halberd, like Commander Standard. Um, even well, it's gonna see even some of the smithing stone weapons, but then you're using a smithing stone weapon, which the top left square is acquire the bell bearings, so you could, you know, potentially go that route. Yeah. But that would take a bit longer to kind of set up, and in a board like this where there's a lot of kind of just medium, some later squares like mid, mid squares, um, setting up um, fast is definitely way more important than setting up stronger but like slower. What's interesting, um, I, I think, uh, as well, by the way, is uh, even going for Tree Sentinel, uh, having a Halberd drop, even if it's not Dragon Halberd, you can get the Spinning Strikes one, the the Banished Knight's uh, Halberd, and then some, uh, that could be a plus eight, potentially, so you already have a decent weapon to, to rock. Oh, yeah, that, that's yeah, that's totally true. Yeah, so uh, it's a gamble, as, as it is for the randomizer, but yeah, it is a dog. good gamble. Sorry, the, the Sky Dog <laughs> attacking Bushy there. <laughs> Dog, Taking an man. interesting line. Oh, it looks like I think he might just be running straight to Liernia to um probably get an explosive physic. Mm. Also sets up, you know, that's where the the death ray birds are. Um, some more ever jails. You know, if you want to do like some knights cavalry, there's a lot of a lot of synergy to get to Liernia here. Meanwhile, Kata's running past Alexander. Um, any pot friends in chat? 
and going off to probably get sleep pods on the way to Third Church America to get the physic. You know, just some some basic setup to get the stats for uh um to use that dragon skill blade, and then probably go and take out the the Limgrave Tree Sentinel. Yeah. Um. I also wonder. Uh, this is uh. I I really wonder how much faster it is. To be honest, is going for the cracked pots in the beginning and then going for the holy pots uh, strat on Deathbird and Limgrave. If it's nighttime. Yeah. If if the if the players have like set up a strat, you can just like hit with like three or four holy pots just on its head, like as it's coming down and like standing there, and then you just just kills it before it can even do anything yeah but you can actually do that while on torrent as well so that could count as beat a boss on torrent but that that is not a square on this board so it does, that doesn't matter it, it um, would be interesting though to see that more often i, I know everyone kind of goes for the bofa cave right away for consumables only um but uh yeah it's just i guess it's just it's faster even though the death bird is it's pretty easy to deal with with holy pots as well and those extra daggers that Bushy saved in the fight paying off even more, getting him a balloon rune um, from the, on in the way in his way through Liurnia. Yeah, those balloons actually give you guys uh, uh, money. Golden, yeah, <laughs> golden rune six. <laughs> golden rune the, six, man. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it looks like there are just like a lot of synergies getting to Liurnia with. You know, the bell ring, there's like nice cavalry there, which you can also just do from Limgrave and Kaled. Um, but there's the watchdogs, um, you know, the death right bird getting the explosive physic, the Renala square with uh, summon all four. And yeah, it looks like Bushy just found Dragon Halberd at the, the Halberd pickup spot. <laughs> His so face that's changed. also, <laughs> yeah, I, I would say Dragon Halberd definitely better than the Dragon Skill Blade. Um, just for the extra range. Um, and I think it just scales and it's better in general. Like it's just stronger. It might be less stats as well. Better points. Because I think damage. it's mostly strength. Yeah. A minor thing with when you level up strength, it increases your damage resistance just ever so slightly. So like going like a strength build, you know, makes you a bit uh, tankier. Not that it really ends up mattering too much in these runs, but if you ever see um, like a strength build in one of these runs compared to another like living on like one hp you know that's probably why yeah so it, it can pay off and i mean you can just go straight for the uh strength tier uh and mm -hmm. uh maybe then just go ahead and rush altus with uh version of doctor as well yeah yeah the lightning doing the tons of extra bonus damage to the abductors uh just like a special property and it'll like stagger them looks like kata dies trying to avoid the night cavalry well torrent died um avoiding the night cavalry fortunately is able to quit out there in time um Fast not gonna have torrent now though so we'll have to consume a flask looks like he's doing the cheese uh, the quit out cheese finally um, <laughs> yeah, good old fashioned Quidditch. Let's see how many times it takes. Some it just RNG whether what moves he throws out. You want him to Boom. do that immediately. Just jump at you, jump off the edge. Easy 42,000 runes for Kata and a Knight's Cavalry on the board. Um, so there are th kill three Knight Cavalry is a square, and you know that'll help block off against that row two bingo as well potentially. That if Bushy was looking to go for that. Um, even though there's only one square on the board, you know, the second I see like one or two squares on the board, you got to think like, uh, what bingos could they possibly be going for? What bingos could I go for to like, you know, salvage like a couple squares? Like if you're behind, um, but yeah. Also, this gives them enough money to level up and actually use the dragon skill blade, which is going to be really nice. And then maybe yeah. he goes for tree sentinel. Yeah. It looks like, I, th I think he just went to gate front. No, yeah. yeah okay yeah because he didn't grab the uh the church of elegrace or the or i didn't the grab either gate, of them so oh yeah no. mm -hmm. just just ran right there so yeah it looks like now that he has stats um and i believe also the strength physic too this will be um easy pickings for this tree sentinel um even though it's plus zero with that frost and like lightning buff like this this will deal a, a lot of damage it's like he is grabbing the grace now. And we see Bushy here, by the way, going into uh, Ryu Lucario. Yeah. 
prepping yeah, I, possibly Renala for Forest Spirit Summons, and then also, yeah. um, let's see here, is there Memory Stones on the board? I think he'd be grabbing, you know, Killing Red Wolf gives you some runes to buy all the Somber Smithing Stones um, for, to upgrade the Dragon Halberd. Um, there's also a Somber 3 on the way, so that saves you, like, a lot of money as well. Yep. Yeah, see, look at this damage. Like, it's not even the Frostbite effect on there, and, like, that Lightning buff is doing a lot. And, uh... And also, it gets a bushy prep for imbued sword keys. And as we said before, version of Dr. Duo, also Raya Lucaria access. So honestly, Raya Lucaria is a, a pretty good play here from Bushy, trying to get a lot of prep done, uh, have a lot more uh, map presence uh, compared to uh, Catalyst here. Yep. But as you said, the, the diagonal squares, you know, they block like three lines instead of the normal two. Yep. So it's just, it is a, a lot more of a value square and, you know, he could potentially get a very good weapon as well. He's not really committed to this yet. So unfortunately it does drop the Gargoyles. However, we already saw the Dragon Halberd um, in Liurnia. So it could not have been that one. Very nice from Catalyst just... though. Yeah, Couldn't imagine yeah. dying to that boss. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> never died to that boss. Nah, never, never, never. Uh, you see Bushy, they did start as wretch. I think he's gonna grab the carrying knight armor here. Yeah, to get some to get some armor. Which does go a long way from <laughs> from having no armor. Um but yeah, having a good setup because that that's something I've noticed with the class too. Sometimes they can just start with like very bad armor. So if you are just running by like an armor set, you know, that can be can really make or break like not dying to something. Yeah. No, exactly. Uh, and I think it'll be very useful, especially if you're going to do Virgin Abductor Duo. Having that extra armor to to deal with some of those attacks is going to be uh, insane. Um, but I do think he might be going for Red Wolf first, maybe grab the first Imbued Sword Key. And honestly, this might be in his routing, is going for the Imbued Sword Keys first, because then he can also grab Grafted Scion once he goes to Tower of the Belfries, grab the last one, activate the Teleporter, go straight to Grafted Scion, get that kill, yeah. uh, and then keep going on with what he's doing. Yeah, I think that's definitely definitely a route of possibility. Uh, <laughs> a good route. That was, that was some choice words. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, with, with Bingo, you know, there's always a lot of good routes of possibility. Um, but it's really hard to find, like, what's best, especially when you're going back and forth with, like, another person, like, taking squares. So. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. And we have uh, Catalyst now here going to Leonia as well. Um, so he might be prepping for Red Wolf, maybe, or imbued sword keys. Speaking of Red Wolf, Bushy in the Red Wolf fight right now. See if he jumps over the attack. Does not. That attack you can jump over and get a, a punish on with, like, a jumping attack. He's got to be careful here. Rolls a bit early and gets roll caught by one of the, the moves the wolf threw out. Uh, fortunately, it's not the worst run back, but it always hurts to, to die in a, in a run no matter what. I was going to say, like, glad he's got armor on, and then he got hit again and died. And I was like, oh, <laughs> never mind. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, the sword move is one of the, the stronger little attacks the, the wolf can throw out. The, the thing is, though, like, if he didn't have the armor on, that first day would have killed him. Most likely, anyways. Um, Yeah, like he probably would have died a hit earlier. So, Oh, he doesn't have the helmet on? You know, that's why. Uh, if he had the helmet on, would have lived that, uh, that sword mm, attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, safety first, chat. You got to remember that. Always wear your helmet. <laughs> it is interesting though. They doesn't. So some players pre-buff the halberd before yeah, they go to the boss room. That. Oh, there's um, the jumping attack. Was talking about. And uh, and some of them actually try to proc it mid-fight instead. Uh, I'm one yeah. of those mid-fight kind of uh, uh, players. I like uh, using that extra damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it depends time. on the boss, or and it depends on the buff, because the spinning slash is a bit slow compared to just, like, an R1. And if you if the boss's, like, first few moves are only punishable by, like, an R1, then it's not really worth it to, uh, um, you know, just do that. So as the wolf, like, the wolf's got to, like, run at you anyway. So if you just immediately press L2, um, that'll probably get trigger the Ooh. wolf to run at you. Oh, and see if he gets the repost here. Don't, I don't know not he even goes going for damage. For yeah, so the, the repose nice. hitbox, you know, I can understand if he's not familiar with it, is really weird. If you get too close, like you would to do a normal repost, um, you, it actually just doesn't work because <laughs> uh, the game of the year. And so you actually have to just back up a little bit in order to yeah successfully get the wolf repost. I think the same is also for the Bloodhound Knight, where it's like a very finicky repost area to try and get that, uh, that repost off. It's like mm -hmm. right over his like his right shoulder or something like that or left shoulder. Um, yeah, yeah, the right side. 
But it, it, it is very a very short window, too, for such a small boss. Yeah, and it's one of those bosses similar, like, Renal also has it. If they're staggering you hit them they'll like get up from their stagger you can't just get some free hits in like with right. Margit or godric will where you'll probably see some players um stagger and then get a few more hits in uh before taking their post just to optimize their damage output and i'm curious where bush is going now he just did red wolf and you know we we're talking about the imbued sword keys but now it looks like he's just going to third church america potentially I think he's prepping the physic at the very least because he needs that explosive physic yeah, uh, square. Yeah. So uh, he might just be pre-prepping here and then maybe going to Caleb as well, grab a grace just so he has that for later on. Um, but besides that, I don't know. I, I, maybe because uh, Catalyst already grabbed that tree sentinel square, he's going to try and block, finish off a uh, boss with explosive physic on grafted scion. That might be a nice little combo that he's going for. Uh, yeah, he very well could. With Looks like he's going into Margit right now, though, on Kata's end. Um, there is the kill Remembrance Boss hit list, but there's really not much other synergy like for like Remembrance squares this board. Usually, you'll see a lot of um, Remembrance heavy boards like kill Remembrance Boss with like you know the the various ways to do it like magic bow only, colossal weapon only. But there's only kill Remembrance Boss hit list, and the only um, thing behind uh, like great runes is the gold spirit like gold free. So yeah. there's really there are um you know killing Radon and killing Renala squares as well, but you know, the, besides that, if if yeah, I, I I'm not really sure why he's, he's going this route. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess definitely would to, agree uh, uh that like Renala Radon uh would be better. Mm -hmm. If you want a capital access, those two seem to have priority over uh Godric. There's no real reason to even go for Godric in this case. Although I guess yeah. Hitless Renala is a little bit of a pain in the yeah, neck. Yeah, I was gonna say students. yeah. But I mean Radon Hitless is not that uncalled for, I feel like but yeah, if you have the damage which they both have frost weapons, which is always how big the like having a status proc like that is always good, like frost yeah. bleed, etc. Um it, it goes a long way and frost being like frostbitten you know you take more physical damage uh by a little bit i forget the exact amount but yeah having that with with like a plus four dragon tower and some stats you probably could fight radon just fine without him doing like too many moves in like phase two or something yeah yeah i agree um and also, I mean, you could probably do this. Oh, there's a Redon without Summon Square. Never mind. Uh, so you can't do the NPCs on top of that to help out a it little bit. It looks like bit. they're both at EG right now. If we open the map, I'm sure you can see them <laughs> right on top of each other. Oh, that was like, let me pop it open. It's loading. It's loading, guys. It's loading. Hold on. Map time. <sighs> you warped away. No. <laughs> now it's too, yeah, it's too well, late. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's all right. Kind of right back into Stormville Castle, upgraded his weapon, I believe. Yeah, so getting Margit to get some runes to, to level up there. Taking a very tight line, dodging the ballistas running through the front gate. Um, you can see they're both back to Limgrave now. You can see on the map. Um, <laughs> Bushy <laughs> running, looks like, to Kaled here. Um... Yeah, I might be going for the Raphael Balcony one and going straight towards uh, the... I don't know, I'm surprised he wouldn't take the Celia Tunnel instead for the Imbued Sword Key. It seems a little bit faster. If he's going for Imbued Sword Keys, that is. We don't even know. Ah, uh, um, right. Yeah, yeah. But th that would make sense in my mind. Going for a Celia Tunnel, you know, do a Celia Town Skip, grab the Imbued Sword Key on, on top of that. You know, I have to give a lot of prep going that way instead. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see if Kata can pull up the Godric Kale. I'm sure, you know, he he's a well-seasoned speedrunner, very familiar with the, the bosses, but Godric can, you know, if you're trying to go fast and hitless, um, it's, you know, it's 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 tough to be force yourself to play a little patient. Um, yep. As someone who, you know, does much more speedrun type things and like hitless stuff, uh, trying to do things hitless can always be a, a bit counterintuitive. Um but oh, there goes being light load, <laughs> being light load helps a lot with Godric. That way, you can roll out of the his like wind attack because that one is always uh, can catch you. And we'll we'll see here. 
I mean, it's not just the wind attack. Even in phase two, to be honest, the the fire breath attacks they yeah. bounce off sometimes. Mm -hmm. They're so frustrating to deal with. I, I've yeah, done the, the one where quite he a few like, times where he points like, it at uh, the ground. Either either yeah, he either breathes on the ground, um, or it's the one even where he fans it out. Sometimes if he's too close to a wall, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it'll bounce off and hit you. Or even sometimes the graves uh, have the fires bounce off of that. And it's so frustrating mm -hmm. when that happens when you're really close uh, to getting that. That was. I, I'm not sure if the Godric's um, ground slam attack sticks the hitbox to the ground or if it's like a flat plane where his feet are, but him kind of jumping right there, if it was like a flat plane for that hitbox, that could have been very scary. Yeah. Um, it's the phase two transition. Um, you'll, you can also okay. see during some of the, like the attack where Godric does the, the fire spin and then uh, rolls and jumps over you right before he like go jumps up, you can actually like get a hit on him there. So uh, may see that from Kata if the if Godric throws out that move. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that was uh, a that's always close. a weird attack. Yeah. Oh, this is good though. This is the good RNG slam? for yeah. Catalyst for sure. Go for one jumping R two. Between... Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's, that's terrifying. It's always a type predicament, but nice. he, he got it. Nice. Um, you can always um. Uh, or not like between the because that is the triple slam the first two in between three you can get like a, an attack in there if, if you do like a roll or something get like a rolling attack so yeah i remember like to wait out the first two and then i jump over the last one and hit him in the head with the jumping arc yeah yeah something um, like that exactly that's the that's, on the, that's the combo but yeah like kind of getting um another corner square and a remisos hit list so very primed to get this diagonal um, looks like uh, Bushy's in a catacomb. So yeah, he's he going could, for double going watchdog for here. I think he watchdogs. grabbed actually the crystal mm -hmm. darts on top of getting that dragon yeah, hammered, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he, he did. So um, he'll so be able be to really nice. take those two out. Di almost dying to the throwing knife, but fortunately wearing that armor makes him strong enough to survive all these hits. Put your helmet on, Bushy. <laughs> He actually has, he has a, a dagger, dagger in his, his head. head. Yeah. <laughs> he has a dagger actually in his head right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cosplaying a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, that's safe, safety first, everybody. Be sure to, to wear your helmets. But um, this is a really, I, I, really I good play he's... by Bushy, by the way, because like going for Watchdog, yeah. that is uh, the diagonal block for uh, Catalyst here, but also progresses his column three on top of that. He already has some priority on imbued sword keys. Mm -hmm. He's going to get Watchdogs. He can easily get Ever Jails and then take Raya's hand to Volcano Manor. He already has Liurnia prepped with Graces. This is a very strong column three here for, for Bushy that he's working towards. Uh, and it's be a huge block controlling the the mage one, I think it's usually better to uh, get the sword. Well, now nah, they're they're fighting each other because <laughs> it can the sword one will usually be more on top of the other one, so it's better to uh, control that one so that it just runs after the other one faster instead yeah. of just maybe sit back and cast some magic. But I mean, once they deal a bit of hits like that, you can get in there. Um, Bushy proactively um, fighting the fighting them on top of them fighting each other, not just sitting back and letting the results happen, which is definitely much better. Um, so yeah, it looks like now he's going to go for the Watchdog and Limgrave, which is you know very 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 easy. Um, Kata taking out a uh, second Knight's Cavalry, um, and if you take a look at the map, um, they are in different zones right now. Kata and Liurnia, as we can see on the map. Um, over here and over there. Chat, can you say map? Say <laughs> map. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is my favorite segment. Uh, and we have yep, uh, Bushy going for his third uh, catacomb, by the way. Oh, not third catacomb. Sorry, third watchdog. <laughs> second catacomb here. That's going to be uh, a very, like I said, a very big block here for, for Bushy. But you also see that uh, Catalyst already got his second Knight's Calf, and he could try to progress, actually, Column 1 once that diagonal is blocked. So yeah. we'll see what he goes An for. Another thing I just realized with going through these catacombs, um, you're grabbing these, uh, the the Grove, the the Spirit Summon upgrades that have a name that I remember um, to get that Spirit Ash plus 4 uh, square in the bottom right. Which another another corner square very you mean like rot dog. Well, yeah, no, I mean like uh, <laughs> the the name of the the upgrade material. The, oh, glove warts. 
glove warts yeah there you go. there's yeah, even yeah, like yeah. the bell bearing on the screen so i thought you meant summons um, i'm sorry that's why i said rock dog <laughs> <laughs> no no you're good all right yeah, yeah. and uh, oh, go, go ahead go ahead i was gonna say awkward situation when you pull the lever the text says "Ooh, a door open you have to press like y or like your interact button before you can actually like jump or roll or anything so um but she almost getting <laughs> stuck there on the imps because of it Normally what I do, uh, especially on this catacomb, when that text pops up, I jump off of the ledge um, while I activate while the, the after activate mm -hmm. the lever, and then I can press the button mid-air so it doesn't stop any of my interactions uh, with the game. Uh, kind of get rid of that, gets rid of that right away. I think the most annoying one in the game, to be honest, is probably uh, the one at Regal Ancestor Spirit. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Most of the time, I finish the the last bonfire near Ooh, the, um, the armor saving once again. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, near the archers, and they start shooting me before I can actually get rid of that text. Which is really oh yeah, yeah. No. Oh, and really. Bushy getting the three watchdogs. Very good square to get. Blocks off that diagonal that Kato is threatening with his two corner squares. Um, but looks like Kato is going to snap right back, getting the third knight's cavalry here. Um. I hate nice cavalry fighting them. They just run away. They just don't do anything. Sometimes they'll just run in a circle around you for like 20 seconds before engaging. Not a fan. You can parry uh, these ones with the that have the glaive. Um, yeah, which is really fun. Yeah, then they just knock them off their horse. Once they're off their horse, they're like a joke. You can just backstab loop them. They do like a, a backstep attack that you can actually... It's so slow. It's like they're heavy load or like overloaded. Um, you can just run behind them <laughs> as they uh, um, like are doing that and get a backstab. Whoa. So you see their cat getting some hits in before the crit. That was um, really nice. Nice little crouch cancel there, too, to make sure that he gets that yep. uh, repost off. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And also, yeah, preparing the cavalry, by the way, when it comes to the glaives, you don't want to stand right next to the knight because your your shield will never, never actually parry the glaive. You have to actually stand away, I would say, in game, I don't know, like two, three feet. I can't really tell. Uh, but around like two feet away from the night. How many is uh, that in meters for all of our European viewers? Uh, it's about like a meter and a half, guys. You know, about a, I'd say that's a, the a decent distance. Um, I'm about a, about as tall as me. You know, um, that's how far yeah. away you want to stand away from. Um, no. yeah, that's a uh, pretty tall, Dom. A meter and a half. I mean, I'm uh, I'm like a meter and three quarters. Uh huh. I do, you don't have to calculate it. <laughs> that's not 411, okay, dude? You can't just... That's not how that... Okay, whatever. You know, and... It speaks uh, facts. Uh, I mean, what can I say? Uh, the know, numbers uh, don't lie, Dom. Chat, chat. Look, look, <laughs> look, look, chat. A map. Map, dude. Map. Whoa, look how far they are on this map. Wow. Had a, all the way over in Kaled. That's crazy. Um... Potentially getting the Dex Medallion or just heading to Radon. Um, yeah. And we do have Bushy, by the way. Chapel Anticipation, Ooh, as I said, chapel, goes for yeah. the Imbued Sword Key. Goes straight for a Grafted Scion here. That's going to play very well into what he's doing. Getting that yeah, nice yeah. This Grafted Scion is going to get melted with this. I believe it's a plus four Dragon Halberd. Um, yeah, I should melt him. This attack, you can... Well, one, you gotta... <laughs> that's the, his most deadly attack, because you can just get shredded like that. But yeah, that one, you can just um, get behind him and just stand there. You can even hit him while you're just behind him. All you the know what happens? are in, like, the forward, like, 180 degrees. You know what happened? So. He, you, you know why that attack was so deadly? It's because he doesn't have a helmet, have a helmet. On, and it came, yeah. it came all yeah. from the top. Mm -hmm. all, straight to the dome, you know? No protection. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, he did grab the grace, so it's uh, it's not that not that bad of a run back. And uh, it looks like that Catalyst is actually prepping Dectus here. I don't think he got yep. the Fort Height Dectus yet, but he's going to be grabbing Rodigan right Source Seal here as well, as well, which I think all players should. Like, it doesn't matter what you're going for. I feel like mm -hmm. Rodigan right Source Seal is almost always a good pickup. It gives you so many stats. At this point in the game, yeah. I, I think he has the, can take the time to set up a bit. Um, you know, gives you a bit more health, uh, endurance, which is also very good for, like, damage, and then also just your damaging stats. Yeah. Um, but you got to be careful here with the, the combo. Almost dying again to the Grafted Scion there. Nice poke. But you see, one simple R1 does that much. Once it gets a, a stagger off, it'll be curtains. For... I... Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm not Good. sure if Good Bushy is here. familiar with the Grafted Scion fight. Uh, 
Yeah, that would explain why you probably didn't go for it at the start as well. If you're not comfortable with this fight, like yeah. you got to know it pretty well to do it at the start. Jumping um, R2 here. Nice. Mm -hmm. And looks like... Oh, so this way you can here. run up to him. There we go. See, yeah. Okay, he does know. Not hitting him there to keep up the poise, so unfortunately he won't get a stagger. Jumping R2 should, should stagger here, though. The, should yeah you got to be ready for it to buff that's a that's oh. a free hit yeah oh you can get so here. there's a scream yeah i mean at that point nice. when it's one hit away you can just run it and trade and take the damage but you know playing it safe uh had maybe a little ptsd from dying earlier it's definitely better to play it safe than yeah. to, to die like very much so so yeah getting a square and tying up the game and three for three, yeah. Yep. Not bad at all. Blocking row five, by the way, for mm -hmm. Catalyst here, too. So Catalyst could still focus uh, row or column one. And I think he actually is because he's going for deck deaths, which means smithing stone bell bearings one and two or down without summons. Uh, those are two things that you need Altus access for. Um, yeah. Or you do Blast goes... Quest, but no one's going to fucking do that. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah. um, right. So you go for Altus access here. And it looks like that he's going to go uh, straight for Dectus, uh, grab those two, or maybe go for Renala first and then go for all the Altus squares. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah. If I were Kata, I would think, uh, you know, I have nothing really in Lyurnia or like progress towards that. So it's better, it's safer to just go for Radon here um, because it's also the one of the 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 bell bearings like either the grave or ghost glove were uh behind uh, mm -hmm. radon and then if he goes through the academy through the abductor versions he'll have the lightning weapon to deal with them quickly and that puts you right at the catacomb where the other uh, bell bearing counterpart is for that square and as you said the smithing two uh bell bearing being an altus is also good um so altus access not uh not the the worst although it doesn't give you that much access besides uh, just stuff like that. I guess, you know, there's always the gold free and gold spirit. Yeah. The, um, the interesting thing here is, though, is that uh, Bush is already going for that Renala block. Just, yeah. Oh, there's, there's also Radon's Great Rune, I just realized as well, restoring it. So yeah. Radon's even a bit more value, although going there is a bit out of the way. But yeah, we'll see. Um, Bushy take on the children, just killing some kids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. I continue. I uh, you got this, man. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, uh, swiftly deals with the three. Now Ronaldo's is going to mm -hmm. come down. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, it, this doesn't have any magic damage, so it should. Ooh, wow, that still hit Ronaldo. So here, yeah, just lock on to Ronaldo because <laughs> her hitbox is really uh, annoying. It's um, a little weird, yeah. Yeah, doesn't have any charge attack talismans or um, oh. the physic or oh. anything. <laughs> Yeah, oh. locking third time's a charm. Uh, <laughs> uh, conversely, or whatever the word is, uh, locking on during this phase with the, the kids can be a bit tricky because it can, as you saw, it just locked on to the wrong one. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. The lock-on feature of this game, it does seem a little weird, uh, for sure. Even if you're looking at an enemy, yeah. if they're just like if their shoulder is touching a pillar, it, your camera will just flip and will not <laughs> yeah, actually you, lock you on lock the, on to the enemy sight. too. It's so frustrating sometimes. Like, I'm looking yeah. right at you. And it's like, no, nope, no, nope, I'm sorry. He's behind a pillar. So here, if you run up, you can get, like, a jumping attack on Renala. Nice. And not actually interrupt her. And then you can get a big, big attack there. And then Renala has very little poise. Unfortunately, he threw out the moon attack, which is the worst thing to have. Here, I would throw a Kukri at Renala to keep up the poise damage. Um, as she, like, comes down. But... Um, Bushy just playing it safe, just avoiding the moon and all the other spell attacks. Um, very annoying to deal with. Yep. Especially that move. Then Actually, the, the summon. I would say uh, the worst wolves. one is probably going to be the uh, when she throws it out and the sword spins uh, like right in front of her. You can get caught <laughs> yeah, up in that stupid yeah. spin attack, and it can almost one shot you. Uh, you know, depending mm -hmm. on Ooh, your armor kills situation. all the wolves. Bushy preferring cats over dogs. Not a dog enjoyer. Taking out Renala here shortly. Um, hopefully he doesn't summon anything. Oh, wait. Actually, no. He's probably going for the summon all four. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. why he wasn't like trying to destroy her. Okay. So, yeah. Wolves and uh, I almost said Dairy Will. The Bloodhound Knight um, have spawned. So, only need the dragon and the giant left. Uh, it's a troll. Thank you very much. Well, she says, come, O Sworn Giant. So... Uh, yeah, but uh, it is a troll. I agree. Stupid. She is kind of <laughs> stupid. <laughs> For someone who oh, uh, is an academy, she don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yeah, uh, it just has two summons left. I would play it safe. I wouldn't try and attack in any way. There's, it's interesting. There's no mechanic to force her to summon either. You just have to wait it out. There it is. Yeah, yeah. That's why you know this square a bit controversial in terms of it just being a lot more RNG reliant. No, that's um, a cool square. <laughs> case in point. <laughs> It's fun um, for the whole family. Look, dogs. Everyone loves didn't dogs. Give, didn't give the dragon, so that's four summons, but three for four right now on what you need. So we'll uh, see how long it takes for Ranala to pull out the dragons. Um, what she did the first time, he, well, it looks like he's just lowering her a bit oh. to get her to summon again. There's the and dragon. And there's the dragon. All right, only four, four, only four or five. That's not too bad. And, and there then, is the kill. And also, you don't have to roll this, by the kill. way. If you're close enough to the dragon, the fire actually goes over your head. Yeah, that um, was a bit on the border where you would get hit by it, so it definitely safer to roll there. But generally, yeah, if um, uh, if she uh, drifts back, well, she normally does after summon, unless you like interrupt her some way. Um, you can just run after her and chase her down and just ignore the fire. So getting the dragon spawn is probably the best spawn to get because. Um, because of that, she's very like vulnerable during it, and the what she summons isn't a threat against you. The worst to get is the giant because uh, she'll like teleport out yeah. and and respawn shortly behind. Which I don't um, understand. Like, why does she teleport when she summons the troll, but doesn't teleport when she summons the dragon or any other summon? Like, why is it specifically uh, she's not the, that? She's one? not the brightest, you know. It's just it's so <laughs> weird. Uh, that's the that's... she ran out of mana or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, summoning the giant takes too much, or the troll. Sorry. <laughs> and as we see here, by the way, uh, Catalyst going straight for Altus, as as we as we assumed with uh, the Dectus halves, going straight for that Grace, activating Radon's Festival, so you can go ahead and actually do the Radon fight. And honestly, maybe going for Raya's hand. Well, yeah, I wasn't be... watching if he did the quest. I don't. Think I, he did. I don't think he did. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he did yet. So if he, I think if you get to Altus and you don't do request, then she won't be there. No, no she I will think be there. Getting to Volcano Manor. If, yeah, if you get to Volcano Manor. But I think if you have Altus, but there. you don't do the quest yet, and then you do the quest, you'll be at Urchery Hill rather than... Yeah, yeah, I think that that's something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what, uh, like, dictates her I positioning. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it's because if you go through Makar, then she's at Urchery, but if you go through mm -hmm. Dectus, she's at Dectus. That sounds familiar as well. <laughs> you know, lots of routes of possibility. Bushy running up to the Urchery Avatar that drops the explosive physic here. Um, I'm curious to see what boss he goes for after that. I could see him going for Loretta the, to finish off. Having the um, lightning damage in the Loretta Ghost Loretta fight is good because there's that whole center part of that's just water, which yep. any boss or player standing in water takes bonus damage to lightning. So also if it's raining, um, so that you know it's just why uh, the lightning damage is always a, a good. Probably the the best uh, like secondary source of damage besides just physical to have, um, because of little reasons like that. But also, most bosses don't resist uh, lightning like they do most other um, attributes. I mean, granted, like Lancey Axe, which is relevant to Bingo and Fortis Axe, they resist lightning by eighty percent, um, which kind of sucks. But Bushy dealing quickly uh, with the the Urchi Avatar. I'll have their supposed to physic and probably head on to take Loretta if I had to guess. Um, uh, I don't know where he's going. Uh, he might stones. be going for um, the... oh a death right bird maybe. Or are you just grabbing the grace? Memory stones? No, there's no memory stones. I don't know. Maybe he's just he's just pre prepping the physic. Ah, uh, yeah. He's pre prepping. He's pre-prepping. Leveling health, very important to not die. <laughs> and it looks like Catalyst is going to be forcing that uh, Smithing Stone Bell Bearings 1 and 2, by the mm -hmm. way. Trying to grab uh, that corner square top left to get rid of row 1, and, or to actually progress row 1 for himself, but also block the diagonal uh, for Bushy in this case. Yeah, I'm curious to see where he's going now. I, I oh, maybe he's going for Everjails. He's going straight for balls, I guess. Oh yeah, I could balls and then just explosive yeah. physic in there. That that makes sense. Trying to force cracking column three now. The yeah, yeah, it looks like he's looking for that column three, because yeah, Kata didn't really didn't 
set up anything with the quest for Raya. This could be a pretty sneaky bingo here. I wonder if Kato's thinking about it. Maybe we could tune in and get uh, some of his thoughts. Oh, uh, you said Bushy? Hopefully he, uh, for Kato to see if he's, if he's aware of what, what Bushy's looking for here. We'll see. Hold on, he's quiet. Um, surely he'll be talking as we as we tune in. Oh, going for the skip. I fucking flew too far. Ooh, yeah, this is a very um, it's a fucking... tight skip. Yo, language, Kata! Jesus! Language no, I'm... character. <laughs> he's going for a skip. I actually don't know about the skip. I'll be honest. There you go. Yeah, so oh. land there. And this is honestly the harder jump. Oh, there you go. oh okay. That actually makes it way easier. Wow. Yeah, normally or what I what oh, I've done is jump easy, around that pillar onto the the cliff. Okay, but yeah, just dropping down right though, to the, I'm not gonna lie. the the uh pillar right, or the column like right Like I slipped below. from the elevator. Yeah, very uh, very good execution thingy. on Catasparta. That makes it. That's a cool skip though. I was I, like I was surprised he's going it for that, but awesome. yeah, that makes it much more consistent. Uh so saves like half if not more of the running section through the thing there. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's actually really really cool. That's really neat. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, he'll be able to take out that future, or the Cillian pretty quickly, and then get that Oof. smithing belt fairbearing too. Uh, Bushy, pretty it looks like he blasted. did die to bulls. Um, both going to boss fights here. Some exciting action. Uh, this kind of reminds me of season it's one, if I'm being too. honest, of people dying to balls left and right. Uh, I never died to bulls. That's uh, very untrue. Um, Prove it. Well, I can't. The bots are like four months old. They don't exist anymore. Well, if only there was a YouTube channel, uh, Captain Domo, to go check out to see all of the bingo matches. Oh, Make not sure match-wise, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely remember... I think Aggie It looked died. like going to the explosive physic. Does that kill him? And it does. takes it out. Yeah, it, deal it deals a good chunk. There we um, go. It, it was a little close, but yeah. It was a little... I think. A little close. So now he's got yeah. column three, and he's got uh, road three, by the way. Mm -hmm. Got a little crisscross applesauce going on. I think... Yeah, oh, he might be going for Loretta now to threaten. If he wanted to... I don't know if he'll actually go for Radon's Greater, and it might just be a bluff. If I were to bluff this, I I would kill Loretta with the Explosive Physic and then go for column three, while Kata has to go and block... Uh, Radon potentially as just like a a basic bluff. Yeah, uh, as we see here, Bush. By the way, going for Loretta right now. Uh, that's going to be his objective. Catalyst. I had going to go for the Death Right Bird. Yeah. Okay. He's going straight for yeah Death Right Bird here. By the way, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, there's the Death Right Bird at the ruins, and then also the uh, oh sorry the Death Bird, and then the Death Right yeah, Bird will be right over here. Uh, at these ruins uh, that you can go for right afterwards. You can jump off the bridge here and, where you normally go to EG, which is this teleporter, uh, but you can just take a, a left and then you'll be at that Deathrite Bird instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious why Kat is taking out this death bird instead of the one in Limgrave because he grabbed the grace that's pretty close to it by Alexander, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So that, that death bird has way less health. Um, maybe he wants the Red Feather Branch Sword. <laughs> But I nah, maybe I just it. on the way of, of his path and was like, all right, I might as well while I'm here. Yeah. Oh, he might be setting up for the Rise Hand of Volcano Manor to block. Um, so that's like just right on the way. The other problem here is, though, like after Blue Loretta, though, Bushy just needs Radon's Great Rune. But. Yeah, but I mean, that involves getting to Altus, killing Radon, and then going through the tower. And, and Kata has honestly, Altus. The, Bushy doesn't. Yeah. So Kata would definitely be ahead in that regard to go and beat up Radon. Um, ooh, getting the stagger, and then he just attacked the head, and then it, this, he, this he will clapped, be a, one death for down. This will be interesting to see because this they're both. Mm -hmm. uh, so first Bushy was kind of on the defensive, blocking a bunch, and now it's actually Catalyst blocking a bunch as well. Not really progressing row one, but instead just going for I think he might go for two blocks here and then try to force row one. That would seem yeah. to be the best move. So he already did Raya apparently. Um so yeah, like you know, it's right there on the way for doing the the Raya's quest, you know that <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> Kata having having that as well. Um Pretty huge, going pretty huge. back potentially for that rise and volcano manor um that square um 
is the uh the, the state skip isn't allowed right for uh for Radon? no no it's not okay okay uh, i just i just making sure no nah, you're good um otherwise what's the point look... of having altus axes if you can just <laughs> yeah yeah pretty true. much <laughs> um yeah, Bushy running into Loretta here. Um, see, this will be pretty solid damage with uh, the Dragon Halberd. Buffing up preemptively this time. Um, very good for this fight. Uh, being in the being in the water a little, little off there. <laughs> so here, yeah, when it jumps in the air, you can get a big Charger 2 yeah. for right when she lands. But the Charger um, 2, honestly, the Dragon Halberd is terrible. Um... Uh, I... Yeah, I mean, if you know it's going to land, it's, it's fine. Like, it, it's good. Big poise damage as well. Um, like here, you can go for one. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice it's stagger. stagger. It's really good against uh the tree boss, the <laughs> the horse bosses like that, like Tree Sentinel. When they're staggered, the first hit will end up the stagger, and then the second hit, which deals much more poise, uh, will uh build up towards the next stagger Oof. already. Ooh, not dodging the attack there. Got to careful on that heal. Yeah, takes an arrow to the face. But looks like it'll be fine though. Um, Loretta does a slow attack. Gets the job done. Pinches off Ghost Loretta, and we'll see. He has a four. Uh, we'll tune four, in real quick here setup. to see what he's thinking. Yep. If he's saying anything at all. I swear, it's every single time I, I turn into Bushi that he doesn't say okay. anything. So there's oh. a glove wart three out here. Okay. Sorry, he's... glove wart two. Okay, getting the, the glove wart for the spirit ash summons. Anything else, Bushy? What do you want to say to your fans? A man of few words. A man of few Spoken words. Spoken like a true competitor. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. All right. And we move back to the main screen. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Surely one of these times, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of these times. We turn into Catalyst, drops two F-bombs, we turn into Bushy, dead silence. I don't know what to do. I'm trying my best, guys. <laughs> so, so, yeah. It, it, right now, uh, the state of the board, you know, Bushy does have these four squares. It looks like, oh, you can easily get that bingo, but really cannot. And I, I think Bushy knows that and is not trying to get that um the, the bingo via the row three. Um, But Kata, you know, the, the pressure is still... On nonetheless, he doesn't really know um, Bushy State. Um, <laughs> looks like Bushy used the explosive physic on entry to. I think he forgot do some damage. Yeah, yeah the, the, just to have it to use it as a buff. Um, yeah. But uh, this is going to be interesting too, because this is going to give away to Bushy that he, uh, uh, Catalyst has Altus access. But this would allow honestly. Yeah. Catalyst to go for Radon's Great Rune block and then go straight for Raya's hand because he already Ooh. gave away Altus. And yeah, Bushy, Bushy being beat up by an old man. Being a, a bit hasty there. Uh, the, that Onyx Lord does just get owned by the Dragon Halberd. Every R1 will just interrupt it um, unless it does one of its hyper armor attacks. So you normally, yeah, you can just run in like that. But fortunately, it didn't uh, time that attack super well and gets punished for it was not taking the time to heal because you know the healing is slow so i, I respect yeah. it um but yeah we'll see kata going into radon here um i think yeah he grabbed the somber five um in redmond castle uh, i didn't catch if he went and upgraded it i don't think he did no uh, he grabbed it but it. i don't think he upgraded though yeah he can't summon so, doesn't go for the summon good I am curious as to how his fight... Oh, he's pre-buffing, okay, too. Ooh, Radon not giving the good RNG. If he... Normally, he can... Or sometimes he can do an attack where he'll just, like, slam the ground in front of you as, like, moving forward, and you can just stay under him and get full charge attacks. Yeah, it's um, the one where he stomps uh, El Leonard into the ground and then starts yeah. walking towards you, pretty much. Mm -hmm. You're staying between his legs, and you don't get hit. At least for well, phase one. Care. Yeah, yeah. Phase two, it doesn't really do that attack. No, I mean, um, he still does it, but the problem is that he does that uh, stupid gravitational wave attack. And yeah, even it'll yeah, be right end. next to his feet, so you can't get as many mm -hmm. attacks off as you normally do yeah, in phase one. It, that hitbox starts under you. Yep. It's like Radon and leave. 
Um, uh, uh, Bushy did finish off that Onyx Lord. I believe he has two great uh, Everjails now. Two Everjails, yep. And on Kai's screen, we have a bit of a Radon arrive, dodging the meteor and get in very quickly to keep up. I don't think, yeah, I didn't get a stagger in phase one. So if you do hit him as he leaves and hit him as he enters like that, you'll uh, keep the poise damage up. Um, nice dodge. I, I'm not sure if Kato was really doing that many Charger 2s in phase one. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Um, not sure. Radon has nice a lot of poise. Though. Yeah, here you can just stand on Radon's like, left leg and dodge the first three attacks. The fourth one you could probably dodge, but... I always um, roll just in case. Yeah, yeah. It, it is better safe to roll. Oh, gets the Gotta, left or the right just leg of Radon. Narrowly, narrowly dealing with Radon there. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a bit close, but you know he, he has it on lock, has the... Speedrunner experience on Radon. Oh, and Bushy kind of like talking himself though. Let's turn into Bushy real quick. Uh, he saw that block now, or he saw that Radon pick up. I, I think we maybe have a column three bingo. Oh, he's thinking column three. I got him. He, he talked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he talked. Because I, I figured, you know, he just set up that row three for the, the bluff. Um, and now, yeah, Kata's upgrading to plus five and. Going to activate the the Radon's Great Rune is very far out of the way, so you know, know having I, that I, as like a bluff square is you know, very uh although he he does already uh, a good one to have because it just makes your opponent spend so much time. Yeah. Um nice stagger on the Crucible Knight. Uh and but I can easy try to race for it. Bushy. So uh, Bushy mentioning column three, but also saying that also gives away as we as we talked about, it gives away that uh Callus um, already has Altus access, so he can just do Raya's hand and block column three. I know it looks uh, kind of fucking crazy, but oh. I, I feel like he. What's But yeah, Kata does have oh. the. Oh, is he talking to Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's like mid thought. He's going to say something. Spit it out, Bushy. Come on. Um. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll see what the story is. <laughs> That's Worst it? We'll try? Really access, okay. Right? <laughs> God dang it. All right, whatever. <laughs> we. <laughs> All right, I was hoping for something more, but you know what? Hey, we work with what we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I don't know, Kat is running to the Spithing Bellbring 2. Yeah, he'll be grabbing that square, Yep. that top left one. Um, and then go for Raya's hand, I hope. Did, yeah, he did have Raya, so he can block that off easily. If Yeah, I mean, if I were Bushy it's like, and trying to get that column three, the Raya's Hand of Volcano Manor is definitely a, a risky one to leave open for so long. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you know, getting the Everjails, um, it's not that bad. Uh, I'm curious, actually. So I, I don't think Bushy cares about Raya's Hand of Volcano Manor at all because he's just going to Volcano Manor. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, he didn't <laughs> take enough damage. Yeah. No, he, dodged Took a, he dodged it. <laughs> yeah. So... When you get down there, this attack, you just sit there and block it. Yeah, like that. And if you do that with, you know, around that amount of health, um, and, <laughs> you know, you'll you'll take some damage. Unless you're using, like, an actual shield, but it's taking a bit of damage. <laughs> oh, and he's a little um, confused now. He saw that uh, Catalyst just picked up Smithing Stones, Bell Bearing 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. He's a little like, well, what, what's going on here? Why is he going for that? And now he's going for Tree Sentinel Duo. He's still not going for Raya's Hand of Volcano Manor. Why is I he... think Kata knows that um, if Bushy were to go for column three, he'd be doing that by now. Or, you know, he's calling his bluff as well of not getting uh, Radon's Great Rune. Very interesting. Very interesting. Which is play. very risky because Kata can't know, um, like, at all where, uh, like, if Bushy has killed Radon or has all this access or anything. Uh, especially because he hasn't really marked a square in a while. He's very close to some of them, like the Everjails, but just hasn't hasn't done them. Yeah, very interesting. If he grabs Tree Sentinel Duo here, grabs Raya's hand, also then grabs Deathbird and Death Rabbit because he's already killed one, and then he goes for that Radon's Great Rune block, he has blocked every single bingo for Bushy in this mm -hmm. case. So maybe he's trying to force majority at this point. I don't know. <laughs> like the Tree Sentinel puts up the the magic reflect shield whenever you do the, the lightning sword buff. Cause yeah. The, the lightning bolt that comes down is technically like a projectile, right? But it's just like a lightning stick. I don't know how um, people fight this boss locked on. I, I used to, and I locked off, and it's. I feel like it's so much easier. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I do, like, a mix. Um, but, yeah, when it does attacks like that, it'll, like, spin your camera around and whatnot. Yeah. 
yeah, like that attack, you know, you uh, you unlock on so you can get a tighter spin nice. around. Nice. Um, yeah, clean kill by Kata knows the timings on the rolls for the to dodge the shield attacks. You can either like jump it, which is generally safer, but um, you know, can be a bit a bit slower. And it looks like yeah, Goes now uh, Bushy going for that Virgin Abductor play that I was talking Ooh. about, like in the very beginning of the game here. Going for Virgin Abductor yeah. deal with Dragon Halberd is going to be pretty mm -hmm. fast to get Altus access. Especially it's in this water. You'll see here just the the, the damage. Those are just some simple R ones as well. I, I think one more hit and it'll stagger. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Um, with the Abductor Virgin's fight, uh, the a good way to get kind of the RNG you want, I guess, because you saw Bushy just ran up to the. The first one and just started hitting it um now you can just brute force this because you have lightning but without lightning damage um Very if you nice. run up to the first one and then kind of double back towards the door um you'll outrange the first one's like throwing attack and the second yeah. one will charge you and be like separated and then it'll do like the open cage attack and you can get some big damage on it um kind of just about done here with the tree sentinel duo um yeah, and then Bushy will see like a second square that he's done that isn't Radon's Great Rune. So, you know, I could see Bushy pivoting to activate Radon's Great Rune here just to, you know, like finish his 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 bluff, so to say. Yeah, and again, Bushy shaking his head, kind of confused. He's still not going for Radon's Great Rune here. He went for Smithing Stone, Bell Rings one and two, and then Tree Sentinel duo. Um, and now he's going for Raya's hand. Like I said, that's going to be the good yeah. play here. Is going for Raya's hand right afterwards, and then go restore Radon's Great Rune. Mm -hmm. And with this square, um, it'll put Kata back in the lead in terms of the square count. Which I know that's what <laughs> a lot of you just see the number and be like, "Oh, they're winning." <laughs> but you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to tell. You know, really, um, just purely based on the amount of squares. Uh, according to the chat, if you're um, two to three squares ahead, you're currently dominating the board. Um, uh, and that most true. of the time is not always the case. Sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so Bushy, I think, um, might be going to finish off the Imbued Sword Keys or going to Radon. Um, Either way, the the choice. Oh, maybe setting up bell bearings as well. That's why you went this way through Caleb to grab the isolated merchant track grace. But I don't know. Grabbing. Um, Are you just not going. For I guess Redon's this also this also. I mean, you got to go to the tower for Redon's Great Rune anyway. Um, he might just be grabbing this grace and then heading south towards Redon. I'm trying to understand what Catalyst yeah, is like doing now. Is. I would go for Radon's Great Rune. Oh. He's holding on to that for way too long at this point, in my opinion. He's gone for three um. squares. <laughs> he's went for Smithing Stone, Bell, Bell, Bell Bearings 1 and 2. He went for Tree Sentinel Duo. And he went for I, I think he's hand. going for the, the Grave Glove War Bell Bearing right now. That's so risky. Holding on to that for that long? That's so risky. But this is, this yeah. is the other problem here, though, is that Bushy's kind of given away... That he's not working towards it either, because he's going to be marking this uh, kill three duo trio bosses square um, next. So then Cattle will know. Okay, well at least he's in Caleb, but does he has he killed Radon yet? You know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No. You. You. you I mean, you can do duo bosses outside of Caleb, but you know, not really. I, yeah, really, it's like uh, there's a lot of them in Caleb. Uh, I guess that's why the uh... yeah no the, there's definitely a, you know the the Nox duo the pumpkin yeah. duo you've got Nox duo Those pumpkin duo you've got Crucible uh, Misbegotten you've got uh, yeah. Putrid Crystallian trio you've got Bofa duo you got a lot of different uh, options yep. in Caleb for sure and yeah uh, here we go Bushy claiming that square now blocking row one um, which is uh, getting rid of the trap there uh, catalysts I think. Second to last bingo. Last bingo line for Catalyst right now is row four. Yeah. Um, and Bushy already has three of the four Everjails. So, you know, Bushy tying the game back up with that square. Very neck and neck right now. Um, I I think I can see Bushy going for the the Ever fourth Everjail. Looks like I mean, I think he's going to the Adon Everjail right now. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, running, yeah, running to be. that one. Um, and so yes, it is pronounced Adon. <laughs> I know some individuals call it Aiden. Um, Thiefifier. So, yeah. yeah. 
Good old Aiden, dude. <laughs> It was interesting is that, dark um, is that the Bushy actually didn't pick up Putri Crystallian Trio, because that is another square, uh, column two, row four, as his yeah. duo trio boss. Ooh, Kat is in trouble here. Okay, just narrowly lives. I don't think Kat has picked up any armor, which is, you know, pretty scary considering, um, you know, going into, like, these later game areas. Ooh, you gotta be careful. Yeah, that I always jump can that. Be if you tricky. just jump that lightning bomb, it, you mm -hmm. just always avoid it. Yeah, it's like a lingering ground hitbox. So here you just gotta. Oh, ooh, he's gotta get the, the oh, lever knife. Okay. Now he can die and respawn or yeah. um, homeward bone out. That was a little or, Sorry, close, uh, memory of grace. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, Bushy comfort. going on after Adon, who just dodges all of his attacks. Don can be a little rat sometimes. He'll like jump over your attacks and do like the crazy nice. stuff, or he just stands there and you just press the R one button and <laughs> uh, get that forever jails. Um, which yeah, now um, kind of sees that okay. Well, I guess he saw it with the the doing trio bosses, but kind of sees that okay. He's not rushing for that Don Great Rune, so he can kind of relax even more. Yeah. Um, if I was Bushy now though, I would. I would, I would just send it, you know, and just start start building towards it. Um, I think or, Bush's concern I mean, is that what if he if if he goes for Radon and then he tries to go for the tower and then he doesn't get it because maybe yeah, uh, so Kat already has spent. the grace at the tower, he loses a lot yeah. of time. No, yeah, looking at the board now, Bush Bushy's actually blocked every bingo Kat can get, so it really doesn't matter at all um, whether he gets that square or not. He can just leave that open for Kata and just focus on. Yeah. Other squares to just purely win by majority. Um, I also haven't been paying attention to other levels. There's the rune level sixty square, which I think would be kind of coming into play somewhat soonish. I imagine Kata's closer. Granted, he's killed Radon. Um, he got the one of the oh. bell bearings now. So, or the for the column four, row five square, the Graven Ghost Glove Wart. Um. Yeah, it looks like that uh, Bushy is going for yeah, that Spirit Dash plus four, which uh, I think Callus was kind of prepping for, or at the very least had that in uh, you know in his mind because he went for that bell bearing. Uh, but it looks like Bushy's going to be grabbing that first, that corner square. Yeah. Bottom so, right. yeah, now that he, yeah he does have the one bell bearing, and yeah, the, those bell bearings can get you um, a plus three, so you do actually need to grab a, a like a glove work four of the right kind for your Spirit Dash. Um, but, you know, Bushy has been grabbing those as we, as we saw throughout the catacombs and just marks the Spirit Ash plus four. Um, so yeah, now, you know, with the two square lead, Kata having no potential bingos, it is looking a bit, um, rough for him because, you know, you know, you gotta, now it just slowly turns into this guessing game of what Bushy's going to be doing and trying to block, uh, his squares. Yep. Uh, when you're behind in like a late game situation like this, not it's not that close to finishing because you know there, there's still four more squares a bushy would need to get and it looks like they uh oh no never mind I, it looks <laughs> like catalyst is actually going for trio, but... restore the redon great run though oh no he's going for a trio no no he's going for the trio yeah. yeah um i think bushy is going to go for the imbued sword keys here kind of making his way to Celia. yeah this is the thing that definitely makes it interesting which you mentioned before which is the whole bushy having all the bingos blocked for catalyst uh it, yeah it doesn't really matter now to him at all like what mm -hmm. what bush uh, what catalyst goes for he can just go for whatever he wants and get the squares where catalyst yeah. still has that bingo like kind of staring him in staring him in, in the yeah, face yeah so you know? that that um him not bushy not finishing that and leaving that as you know, a bingo for him to still do. Kata has to block that square um, if he wants to even win by majority. Right. So Bushy's kind of locking Kata into actually, like, you know, having to do that square if he wants a chance to win, which is, you know, very, very smart by Bushy to have him, because it, it, it's a time commitment that doesn't really get you much else, just running to the tower. Um, yeah. Now, Kata's already beaten Radon um, because, you know, there's the underground open up for the bell bearing plus killer redone without npcs so it's like you know there's a lot of synergy with it but at this point now he will still have to spend like you know a, a minute or two to go get the tower which isn't that big of a deal um but it's still uh forces like that time sink yeah i do think also that 
I don't know. It's so weird. I really think Catalyst should be going for that Restore Radon's Great Rune and then go straight for that Bell Bearing uh, on row 5. Because he yeah, already well, has I, one of them. He already has so Radon's Great Rune, you know? I, I, I think Kata has to be kind of blocking uh, what, what Bushy is doing now. Bushy is actually going to Radon now, but uh, Kata kind of just knows that Bushy isn't going for that Restore Radon's Great Rune, right? So he's going to go after these other squares that Bushy could potentially be going for right now to uh, to block him out. Mm. But yeah, I mean, Bushy's actually going for Radon, so... <sighs> One hit, Ooh, one hit, yeah, and getting uh, rotted. Yeah. Had in the boss fight right now. Uh, triple Crystallian Trio Witcher, very annoying. But once you get a, a stagger, uh, you can see just going for charge R twos. Katanas are kind of weaker when it comes to staggers. When you take the repose here, um, I would definitely do this one because they buff repose damage one point ten. But also while you're in the repose animation, you aren't getting tick damage from rot. Yep. Uh, it it actually pauses it. Ooh, getting Womble comboed. This is like the most active I've seen these guys. Um, in one of the patches, uh, they made <laughs> these kind of duo trio fights of the Crystallians and some other ones be very passive. But you can see, oh, actually dying to the rot there at the end. Kata getting uh, surrounded by three Crystallians. Crystallians. Yep. Um, uh, trying to use some non-choice words. <laughs> the um, mouth of a don. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, though, I think this is where uh, things are getting a little bit interesting. But I also think that if you have a backup of a weapon, which is uh, considered strike damage, always go for that rather than a katana. Katana is, I would definitely like the worst, if not any cutting weapon is horrible versus crystallians yeah uh, i would i would definitely strike damage is very good for it yeah go for but go for bonk actually, damage yeah bush or a cat actually just dipping and be like yeah that's not worth the the time sink very good to know to just pivot if you end up not getting a square uh bushy fighting radon right now though um ooh, i was unable to get behind him before that there we go um, not going for the charge R twos here is interesting. Um, it doesn't have any charge attack talismans, but building that poise is very important. I do Excuse wonder me, is he going to go for uh, the tower after this? Because that would be so. I, when, I, I see when how Radon tra charges in. It's wherever way you're facing. Um, I I always see kind of players just do whatever, but what you should do is look the other way from the grace, so that way he's closer to the grace, so that you can get there um, in time after you kill Radon before uh, the cutscene triggers. That way you're not like wasting any time. Yeah. Um, Let's tune in here but, real quick to, yep. to push you real quick to see mm -hmm. what he's saying after he gets this kill. Nice. Clean kill. Is he gonna go for the tower? That's, that's gonna be interesting. So that that's mm -hmm. actually two remembrances. I forgot that I already killed Renala. Yes. Does that mean he wants to possibly yeah, go for he, gold for here? He does okay, have dude, I mean, he gold tree available in the it. capital. Doesn't need to kill uh Tricon Tree Sentinel. But, Cat, let's make yeah, his way up the tower right I'm now, by the way. Go for it then. Ooh. Oh. And he's going for it now. Okay. Cat just fell off the tower as well. Uh oh. Get a little. Oh. Okay, he quit out though. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, missed the fast. Is still down, so needs to drop back down to uh, get back up there. God, Jesus, um, why is he doing it like that? It scares me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. He jump out and back in. Yeah. Give me a heart attack. <laughs> Wait, it's way better to do that though, so you don't get tripped up on any of the terrain. Um, yeah. So Kata, you actually do need to go to that far ladder. I don't think. Yeah. Now I think he's now realizing you gotta. Get over there. Mm. No, nah, it's totally a good jump. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. Oh, that torch almost getting him, though. So, yeah, I, I could see Bushy maybe catching up if he does the skip. But it looks like Kat is going to get this by probably, like, 10 seconds. Oh, and he, he's not going for the skip. Oh, no, he is. Pausing. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. Oh, I thought, you yeah. Can actually, yeah. <laughs> you can actually, if you run up the 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 tree root there yeah. um it's a bit jank with the terrain as with most kind of skips like that but you can actually skip uh that the ladder that bushy's climbing right now to kind of land um and you can land like right where he is now um 
saves probably about 10 seconds or so of just not climbing that ladder. Um, oh, oh, bro, she falls off! She's falling and dies. He also has a lot of runes on him. Um, so I think he's definitely want to want to go back and get his runes. Um, but by the time he gets there, also didn't grab the grace um, right near there. So it's an even farther run back. By the time he gets back there, Cattle will probably have it. Although there is the elevator. Oh, that up. is brutal. So that is brutal. Um, I I still think uh, Cattle would have got there first, uh, regardless. He was still like a clean ten dish to twenty seconds ahead. Um, unless Cattle somehow falls off the elevator, just clips through it or something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that would. Uh... That'd be something. And then they have yeah, to wait for the elevator to come all the way back down, too. Yeah, so... I definitely... I, I, I understand why Bushy went back for this Restore Redon's Great Rune, because... Um, you know, it was just open for so long, it's like, oh, Kata's not doing it, so let me go and try and get the bingo. It's very tempting to do that, but I think you should have just stuck to not doing Redon at all, and just leaving leaving those open to Kata to do... Graven, Ghost, Glove War, Bell Bearing, and Radon, and then just going for the other ones, like finishing his Imbued Sword Keys, maybe getting something to level 60, uh, killing the like the Death Ray Birds or something. So, But yeah, now Bushy will see that Kata marked it, and yeah, it just immediately gets out of there. Don't get knocked off. Okay. <laughs> this Torch guy, wow, he's actually really tanky. Hey, Dragon Barrel, baby! Yeah, yeah, wow. Okay. So the question is, like, what would Catalyst go for now? He got that block, uh, finally. The last thing that he has to do is block Let's say he's Column going for 4. The future Crystallian Trios. Um, yeah, I guess he does need to block Column I 4. I would go for the right. Death Birds. He does have a Death Bird, so it would only need to go kill the Death Right Bird. Right. I'd go for um, Death Birds here. Yeah. Um, especially with his weapon not being that great for the future Crystallian Trios. Um, I would, I would say it's best to probably focus like the spear one first. I don't, I think he was focusing the mage one first because the, the spear one's always like on top of you, um, just like charging you down. Um, so just getting that one out of the way makes it dealing with the disc one and the mage one makes it way better because they're usually, uh, not close to you and they're like far away and won't actually like interrupt you and attack you. Yeah. Looks like that maybe Bushy could try and force uh, rune level 60. You could go for Grail here and also the Earth Tree Avatar. That seems to be a pretty popular pick nowadays uh, with it being a pretty easy boss for 90,000 runes. That yeah. might, have, might not be the worst pick because that doesn't seem like a very contested... Uh... Oh, he's going for Bellbearing Hunters, actually. Okay. Ooh, are we going to... No, it looks like you're just fighting him straight up. Not going to see any... Um... <laughs> any... Uh... Bellbearing cheese. Good old halftime show cheese. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like just going for the shield loops. Ooh, a bit too far to the right there. If you get behind the Bellbearing Hunter, uh, ooh, it gets a stagger. Nice. He'll do this turnaround shield slam, mm -hmm. um, which you can just roll behind, maybe get an attack in or something, and then you'll just do it again if you're just behind in the same spot. Um, ooh, it's very dangerous to roll with that with that attack direction wise because it's a very lingering hitbox. It's like a huge AOE as well. Um, like it reaches far out at least. So you gotta yeah. be careful that grab. Nice um, stagger again though here yeah. from Bushy. Yeah, Halberd Halberd R ones do add up when you're just going ham. And uh, this is the difference between the uh the Dragon Scale Blade and the Dragon Halberd is that just that poise damage really does help a lot, mm -hmm. especially for more difficult boss fights where you kind of I wouldn't say rely on reposts, but it just makes the fight like infinitely easier if you're able yeah. to stagger at least twice within a fight rather than just once. Yep, the damage adds up a lot. Good positioning by Bushy, just keep looping it. Um, taking out the hardest bell bearing hunter first. Very nice. Very nice, very um, nice. I believe yeah, he can take the warp to the Liurnia bell bearing hunter by the by Muriel if he wants to. Um we have good old I map here, he by the way. This, but... So he's got one bell bearing hunter that's gonna be right next to good old Bernie, which is gonna be right over here. But then he also has the other one that he can grab, which is going to be uh Liurnia, which is right next to the dog Pope, which was right over there. So he's got these two that he can go for. He can go for the one in Altus if he really wants to. Uh he already grabbed this one, by the way, if anyone that was curious where that one was. Uh but he can go for this one that's right over here. Which is uh the merchant one. 
So he can go for that one too, if he really wants to. If he's going for a gold free, to be fair, maybe that's not a bad pick. Rather than wasting your time grabbing the teleporter and everything to get to this one, might as well yeah. progress your way towards DTS, grab this merchant, grab this bell bearing hunter, and then go straight to capital. You know? That's not a bad plus, play. Um, plus the... Uh, doing the one in the church, like Mirio, where the turtle pope is, The you have to talk to him like a ton and then rest and then talk to him again and then rest for the spawn so it just takes a lot of time yeah uh looks like bushy just haven't had enough of bernal shit just killing him to <laughs> the velvering hunter spawn faster hey he tried um, his best yeah Bell and there there he is just walking towards you menacingly Dude, that's like the one the thing easiest. I don't like about this fight is that the bell bearing hunter spawns in the shack and the shack itself is so small you have yeah. to like wait for him to come out so you actually like can fight normally because trying to dodge Blizzard. within that shack is horrendous. Kind of just about done with the Pedro Crystallian trios. Very nice. nice. Gets that square. Good and it is all tied up. Although Bushy is two for three Bellbring Hunters now. Ooh, almost rested a bit early <laughs> before almost respawned the, the Bellbring Hunter. Um, Actually, no, I think it would have been fine. I would I go know. for I would go for Death but, Roots yeah. here if I was Catalyst. He already has that prepped, and he's get, grabbing Sacred yeah. Blade here, so I think he actually is yeah, going think, for it. Mm -hmm. Um, and looks like Bushy is going for that third Bell Bearing Hunter in Liurnia, taking the warp. Um, wait, what is he doing here? Um, crackpots? yeah, he's probably grabbing a crackpot. Although it's you need to go to Kale anyway to get the recipe for holy water pots. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, no, he's grabbing smithing stones. Oh, just, I guess, to buff the weapon a little bit more for Probably, Sacred Blade? Probably, yeah. I mean, I think this is just... You have a plus five, like, somber weapon. I I, <laughs> I think this is a waste of time. Oh, no, wait. No, he has to do the Death Right Bird. I, I was thinking he was setting up for the Limgrave Death Bird as the last one. I'm like, that's just kind of not worth it. But no, very, very much worth it to grab a kind of Sacred Blade and Holy Water Pots here for the Death Right Bird. Um... Yeah, no, I uh, yeah. I, I agree. I, I think it's um, he's make sure interesting he though. Too. Oh, he didn't yeah. grab the crap. He... No, he he did. Yeah, but he didn't grab the recipe book itself though. Um, well, uh, he's that... crafting something else. We'll see. We'll see what the the plan plan is. Hey, he's actually going for Turtle Pope. Okay, he's going for Turtle Pope. Uh, yeah, for the Bell Bearing Hunter instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's fair. It's not a bad play, necessarily. I just think that if you're going to try and be progressive towards other squares, the one in Altus is yeah. better. Um, and yeah, also, especially because there is that rune level 60 square. So going for DTS and gold free, you get a lot of runes from that. Yep. Although Kata does have a bank stored. If you saw, he still had both his remembrances, um, Godric and Radon, still able to pop there. So no, um, just doing it right now. Curious that he didn't just sell them all at um, Hugh. Because it's easier than just popping them, but I think he's just buying. Uh... Oh, right, he's giving the. He has the smithing bell bearings, right? So he can make a plus twelve um, smithing weapon with sacred blade very quickly. But that is a lot of money spent, so that does take away a lot from the rune level sixty square. I really hope um, it's worth it. This is like an easy three four minute time sink here. Yeah, I. It looks like he's upgrading the sham shear with the sacred blade. I, I would say it's worth it to grab the holy water pots and then just go with the weapon you have. Once you stagger the death right bird or a death bird, just throwing the water pots at its head while it's staggered will deal like a fourth of its health with like each one, and you can get like three off. So yeah. Um, Third bell very... hunter for Bushy, by the way. Yep. Also, that stab move that he does at the end of his combos where he stabs forward, you're just able to just, like, sidewalk that very mm -hmm. easily to the right. Yeah, you can strafe that. Um, and get a free hit in rather than just rolling. Um, nice stagger. Yep, Doesn't go right for the on butt the frost stab. Too. No, the, the repose are fast, or uh, more damage. Yeah, so yeah. it's better to go. Well, there nice, we go. He gets the three bell bearings. Um, Bushy now one square ahead. Uh, very close match here. I could I could definitely see this coming down to gold free or like the rune level sixty, um, square maybe even ancestor spirit because none of them really have ancestor spirit, but we'll see now. Um, Kata taking on this death right bird, we'll get that and then uh, tie up the Ooh, board here. Wow, wow, that is actually a lot of damage. Yeah, plus twelve holy damage. 
Jesus. Yeah, okay. I mean, he, he knows what he's doing. So if he's not comfortable with the death bird fight itself, then it, it's definitely um, a good play to... Uh, uh, yeah, right there he's dodging. Okay, the, yeah, the this attack. guy knows what he is doing. All right, yeah. dude. Okay, yeah, buddy. That, that attack, you can either just run in like a straight line and be fine on torrent, um, uh, like kind of away from him, or yeah, you can just do that. Ooh, nice, very nice. Up. Use the explosion. That yeah, that would have been bad, but nice gets that square and it's all tied up now. It looks like Bushy was going for the Deathrite Bird. Immediately sees that cat. I got it. Quit out. And it's going, ooh, it's getting spicy. Get all 10 for 10 right now. But yeah, Kata is now going to grab the other bell bearing. Um, if I were Bushy, I would go and get the last, or the two st uh, imbued sword keys. Because. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, on, on one hand, Kata doesn't have progress in the academy at all, which is where, like, those, the unabused sword key is. So, but I mean, Bushy doesn't know that, right? Um, honestly, what I would be doing here is I'd go for imbued sword keys, and then I'd go straight for uh, gold free rune level sixty. Yeah, that that would be my play because if if I can get to if I can get to gold free, I most likely have more money, and uh, I I can probably hit level sixty. Off I, of I think that's what is, Yeah, I think that's what Kata's doing with grabbing the bell bearings, and then going to go gold free rune level sixty. Yeah. Um, although Kata did just spend a lot of money on this this weapon. Um, which holy damage is really only good against the death right birds. Uh, most, especially the major bot, like the main bosses, are have high holy resistance. Besides um, ancestor spirit, apparently is very weak to holy. Uh, I don't know if it's very weak, but yeah, like it's it's good, like it's not bad. So yeah, he could be going for uh, mimic tier into ancestor spirit to get the rune level sixty as well instead of gold free, which honestly would be faster if he has the levels for that. Yeah. Because you don't got to run through capital, you don't got to run up all the way to Chicago Tree Sentinel. Although Regal, um, I guess, is a little bit weird here because of the whole healing. Uh, unless you can try and skip past that, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, if you get a good stagger, you can um, you can skip past it. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah, no Regal does have. Uh, it's like negative holy. Twenty percent. Yeah, negative twenty resists to to holy. Um and fire. And slash. So that champs here is slash holy damage. So yeah, okay. Uh all of its other resistances are like zero anyway. So <laughs> anything is really good against these guys. Um what's funny is they are weak to fire, but they're in water a lot, so it doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, can I counter oh, yeah. the whole thing? Yeah, because earlier I was saying how you take things take bonus damage and with from lightning and water. Um the other way around, they'll take less damage from fire while it's raining. It's kinda interesting, by the way, pulling up the map here. When uh, I didn't notice this until now, if you are actually above ground, your icon is way more uh, apparent than if you're underground. If you're underground, it's a little fainted, and like the opacity is down. That's kind of cool. So Very... we don't have an underworld ma underworld map. Mm -hmm. So in order to showcase that they're underground, it uh, just faints it out a little bit. Revolutionary technology we can, we see here. Mm -hmm. Only in at Bingo Brawlers. Um, kind of running into the. <laughs> Mimic fight uh, takes off the weapons. That way, the mimic is just. Oh. No, I I don't think he. I don't think he did. Maybe I. Nope. Oh no, he didn't. He was too fast. Yeah, no. The mimic here has the has the weapon. He didn't get a uh, close in time before re-equipping it. I I don't think. But oh. honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like, Maybe he just finds it more fun. <laughs> yeah, wants a wants a challenge, you know. Also, I, I honestly, like, uh, this is uh, from my own perspective. Sometimes having the Mimic not have anything, they dodge and just keep their distance and throw rocks a lot. So maybe having it to have a weapon to keep it melee yeah. range is maybe just a little bit easier, you know? Yeah, giving it, like, a weapon that you can't wield is always is good as well. Um, yeah. Or, like, a shield or a bow without arrows or something. Stuff like that can be good. Interesting that Kata is the grace behind you. There it is. <laughs> it's just that he's grabbing that great oh it looks like he's warping out okay but it looks like that bushy is actually going to go for that dts gold free rune level 60 potential here yeah so i wonder if uh i wonder where cat is going abuse sword keys abuse sword keys that's my guess yeah i guess to grab the uh this would be very interesting the the, the key 
the shield. For... BTS cheese. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing that makes sense. Um, see, with the weapon he has, you can just fight him and be fine. Although, I guess it's still probably faster. It's not that much damage. This is interesting. You know what? This would actually be a uh, kind of fight, I guess, from right. Kylos. If, if he went for imbued sword keys instead and then went for rune level 60. He doesn't have to go to capital. He can skip gold free. He can skip DTS. All he has to do is imbued sword keys and then go for Urchery, go for, uh, you know, Grail, go for Grail, um, go for Bofa. Yeah, that's true. You know? Twin Bofa, not normal Bofa. Oh, he's grabbing a... Uh, parry. Hoping Ashwar. that he has a parry, Ashwar. Are Which those, Oz, Ashwars uh, are randomized? No. No, they're not. Okay. Uh, yeah, you really don't need that. But it makes it way easier, for sure. Um, well, I mean, he, had, well. he picked up a small shield without parry on it, so... Oh, it didn't have parry on it. Yeah, I don't okay, think the yeah. Ice Crest has uh, <laughs> yeah, a no no, that's skill right. shield, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, yeah, it makes so sense annoying. that you're familiar with that. Um... <clears throat> With that Ash War. Anyway, Kata grabbing the <laughs> setup for the shield, running to DTS now. But so is Bushy. Um, and I believe he's kind of ahead of him. Yeah, Kata did have that grace there ready, but grabbing all that stuff to set up. Although I don't know if Bushy has um, a shield. Yeah, it looks like I think he's going to do the same thing that Kata just did to grab a shield to cheese him. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is getting close. This is uh, getting a little uh, spicy. Yep. <laughs> you don't think so? I did same shield too, by the way. <laughs> same yeah, shield. Yeah. That's funny. Killing the soldier just to put him in his place. Say, this is my shield. Please don't bother me. And then now he's going to go and probably apply, give it a parry as well. Because, uh, well, did he already have a parry? He killed Bernal. So he can't go and. Well, I think he can give his bell bearing to the. Nope, okay, he has... yeah, he has parry. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> kind of doing a speedrun line of running up this wall to get to DTS faster as well. Oh. Um, it's a bit tricky, though, as you can see. Uh... Ah. Yeah, there, he's got it now. Yeah. So now. How much does that save? Like what? Five seconds? Probably like 20-ish. Oh, Because you don't got to go around to the staircase. You just go straight there. You see how that's just like straight to DTS. Oh, I see, so I see, I see. It's actually pretty comparable right there as Bushy did go that way with the grace and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is a, a pretty neck and neck uh, situation. Um, although Kata is ahead. So if he gets this gold free uh, spirit first... Um, then I, I think that just that just curtains. But uh, Bushy does have a stronger weapon, although you know, also we don't have levels. Well, we're speeder experience, so that is true. Uh, they both have. Well, Kata has killed Godric, so has that extra remembrance uh, money. But they've both killed Radon, which is a which is a lot. Uh, Bushy killed. Uh, Bushy did beat the yeah beat Renala and yeah that that's true Renala, but also the Belbring hunters and the Kaled one too. So. That does a lot. That does add up with the Ever Jails too, Blue Loretta. You know, it definitely adds up. Kind of successfully getting the DTS G's first try. Very nice. See if Bushy can as well. Extra fifty G's. Nice. That should parry. Nice. That's not the angle. Oh, that's a weird spot. Yeah. That's oh, just not the out. angle. Interesting. Oh no. Yeah, so that's gonna reset him entirely. Not, I guess he's not confident enough to. Um, uh, just get another parry off. Just run up and, and parry him again. Yeah, looking at 130 so, Gs right now on uh, Catalyst screen. And he can yeah, grab the all the runes on the elevator. It's he very can, smart. He can grab the Lord's Rune next to Crucible yeah. Knight and also kill yeah. the Urchery for the other Lord's Rune, too. Mm -hmm. Or is a Hero Rune and Lord's Rune? I don't a hero, know. Hero, the other Hero's Runes. Not that much. Nice parry. Oh, Ooh, you no! gotta hit him. Oh, he misses the hit! Ooh, oh, and miss up the parry. No. Fortunately, he was in the didn't get a weird spot on the cliff. There's some if you're like on the edge, you can potentially miss the stick of America response. Um, that wasn't that far, but a tragic uh, two attempts there for Bushy. It's not looking good. Although he doesn't really know where Cat is right now. Um, 
Let's see if Kata gets the... He is going for the capital skip. Does and get a first try. First try. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Again, the... <laughs> the lots of speedrun practice paying off for for Kata's run, which you know makes sense. It is a race, but all the specific kind of like speedrun yeah. tricks and skips and all that definitely paying off uh, its dividends. But she finally just using the fist to not to not miss. There we go. The cheese. Kata running to grab that rune that you were saying. The hero's um, rune, yeah, I believe. There's also yeah, a, lot, a, no, a nine, a nine. Jeez. Yeah, that's the nine. A nine, <laughs> and then the uh, hero's rune here. Yeah. That's about like fifty or it's like twenty thousand ish or seventeen fifty. And then going for the Urchi Avatar right afterwards for the Lord's Rune. Yeah, if he can get Rune level sixty and then into Gold Free, you know that'll be uh, pretty fast. But him fighting this Gold Free might actually uh, not get him there in time. If I were Bushy, I mean, it's you can't really know what Cat is doing, right? But it. Bushy would be it would be best if he went and killed Goldfree first and then goes back for the rune level sixty, like maybe to grab those extra runes if he doesn't have it. Um Oh, Kat, looks like Kat is actually not fighting the Avatar and then just going yep, just to right trace the Gold Free. Yeah. No, that that's smart. Definitely better to get the Gold Free Square than uh like, you know, running all this way and not getting the, the Gold Free Square. Um and also smart of Kata, you would think, Oh, he has so many runes, why isn't he rest and level up? Um it's because once you sit at a grace inside the capital for the first time, um, besides uh, like the bed chambers one right before Morgoth, uh, Melina will talk to you and waste like ten ish seconds or so. So just avoiding that dialogue. Mm. Um, uh, Bushy also going a long way around through the capital. Um, not familiar with the with some of the skips. I think he said that he wanted to learn Lane Dell skip, but maybe it isn't worth the time. It's like only a, a eight second time save, anyways. Uh, and if you screw up the first time, it's just not. Worth yeah, it. that. Yeah, that's why I always go for uh, kind of an in between one that's slower than the the Yolo jump, but it's like way more consistent. Yeah, you kind yeah, of run along the rails. Yeah. 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 Um. Bushy going and grabbing this grace to maybe you know come back for uh the earth tree avatar. I wonder if you no, he's just going. I was gonna say I wonder if he's gonna rest. I wonder if you see if you see uh catalyst marking Godfrey here, by the way, or Goldfree in this case, as Bushy, I would pivot off and just book it level sixty first and then go for imbued sword keys, maybe. Yeah, if he if he has the runes for it though, um it's tough to say how I, I can't see like what levels uh they are. I yeah, haven't really either. been paying that much attention. Um, I think I think Bushy's forty. Yeah, he still had. Oh, really? Okay, no, it needs a good amount more. I think so, then, but I'm I I did see add Radon's remembrance, but Kata going into Gold Free fight here. Uh, lightning damage is pretty good against uh, Gold Spirit. I'm pretty sure it's just like a zero, um, the resistance. Interesting, not getting going for R twos just. Opting for the R1 spam. The staggers so are, are very huge in this game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th this fight is like one of the easier fights in the game of like the main bosses. Um, probably getting a stagger soon here. Um, when we're jumping R2. Yeah, the spin around. Oh, Generally, goodness. how to fight this guy, you kind of just circle around him counterclockwise, and you can strafe a lot of his attacks, a lot of his attacks, or just easily dodge them from that. Um, Muff is out. That's fine. Yep. I'm gonna finish him without it, probably. This might be enough for him to grab gold free uh, and also rune level sixty. Go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this grace just in case somehow we fucking need more god or something. Oh, I got an achievement. Okay, Kato's getting an achievement. Nice. I'm gonna pop everything now. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it has to pop things first. Right, right, right. Level up. And now Bushy's still making his way over to Gold for even though She's it gonna is show marked. Up. Yeah, still see, needs the money. Yeah, Melina talking. Yeah, to you. first time I can spirit Godfrey, guys. Insane. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Bushy ran into the fight as well. Probably everyone's dialogue 58, with 58, no, okay. 58, Ooh, it 50, doesn't have enough. I don't need that Wait, much, Is that 58 though. or 56? Well, I do. A 58. So he has to go... Okay, okay. Killing this Urch tree over here might be enough. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's enough. 
Because if you didn't have enough for another level at that point, um, that's going to be like 20-ish thousand at most. I mean, maybe if it could be if it was really close. I wonder could if Bushy actually maybe But I don't know how close closer. Bushy is. Yeah. Especially with, uh, with... Oh, it drops a Lord's Rune? Oh, okay, that's 50k then. No, he's fine with that. Yeah, my bad. I mixed Oh, up. he's Ooh. getting blasted, though. Yeah, it's awkward to block that move because <laughs> you saw it broke his guard into a, a big slam attack, but has tons of health yeah, uh, yeah. to make it through. I wonder if Bushy has enough, though, after this fight, and he might be able to beat him to, uh, to it. He does? Oh, gets killed, though. Does a... A little late of an R one there, and doesn't have gets ends I the end care. lag or too much end lag. That uh, might that might be it, man. Ah! It's getting close. That might be it. But man. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it was very close. I think I I don't know what level Bushy was though. I don't either. Wow. Yeah, Lord's Rune. Easy fifty k. Yeah, that should be easy to um, There you go. And then Kata. With the win. Congratulations to Kata for week two of victory. Hot dang, man. You can see the excitement on Catalyst's face, too. 2-0. <laughs> I think that's why he was showing to the camera. Good old 2-0 right now. That was yep, a yep. very, very tough match, man. That was a very tough match. That was a, a lot of back and forth, too, with Bushy having that early game, having a lot of early board presence, uh, and then uh, starting to... Um, Kind of getting called out on his bluff with that restore restore Radon's great run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of parts where they were kind of neck and neck throughout the match, uh, running through areas. Uh, Kata's just speed run experience of knowing all the little tricks and tips to get through. You know, just makes it just kind of the the deciding factor in some of these parts. Yeah, that was crazy. All right, let me uh, see if they are ready to be brought in. Uh, wonder what level Bushy is at. Hot okay, no, I'm diggity not sure rest, but... dog. All right, looks like Bushy is ready. You ready to respond? I'm going to bring in Bushy. All right, Bushy, welcome in, man. Welcome in. GG's to you, good sir. Oh, I forgot to change the screen. Oh, whatever. Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, congrats what match, on... Man. Or, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Uh, I, met, I screwed up. I messed up. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was trying to fix the camera ratio because Dom is... Uh, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I was fine. Much here. Um, Continue with I your... was curious, what, uh, what level were you at the end there? Um... Oh, I just got RL60. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Yeah. And that was really neck and neck. Because mm -hmm. Kata yeah. had to go back to kill that um, Urtree avatar after killing Goldfree to get uh, that Lord's Yeah. Ring. I mean, game's over once he gets Goldfree, though. He, ha he has lead on Ancestor Spirit, so unless he goes for, like, imbued sword keys for some reason, which I, I really don't know why he would, um, he has 13 squares on lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, overall, though, that was a, a very a close match throughout the whole thing. Um, for the board itself, uh, we saw both players, uh, you and Catalyst, uh, already pick a class right away, which is the Dragon Scale Blade class, uh, and then look at the board. Was there anything specific that you were eyeballing during the three-minute prep time or just uh, looking for easy squares to, to kind of take right away? Um... Yeah, I, I don't tend to identify, like, bingo threats right off the beginning because most of the time it's, like, the bingo threats that are reasonable to do quickly are filled with a bunch of fast squares, and it's very rare that one person gets all those fast squares. Mm -hmm. um, so, no, I, I was just looking at, uh, thinking about board presence and map presence. And... Yeah, which which you did really well going on to, like, cover Liurnia a lot early on. Uh, also, mm -hmm. getting that Dragon Halberd check uh it was really nice um yeah, but yeah, yeah. there's this this board was pretty liurnia filled so that was a good recognition of the of the board state which i would say is very very good skill to have um yeah, yeah didn't do all this early enough though <laughs> that really yeah. killed me yeah i mean it, it's always tough because you know the competition's tough you know lots of uh you know that everyone else is also going to be doing the things that seem good as well so it's really it's hard to always know what 
the the best stuff is to do and even if you do the do the best thing you know other people your competitor can just do it faster so so uh by, yeah, by the way when, like, it, when it came to like the uh the mid game part i want to say of you kind of keeping that restore redon's great rune uh square open um after catalyst grabbing smithing stone one and two and also tree duo did you think you'd want to force it at some point or were you just absolutely just leaving that open to to be grabbed because he couldn't force majority unless he grabbed that square um i mean i was i, I thought it was kind of crazy how long he held on to the priority for it yeah like i i did it, it's not a super long square to do um and I, I thought it was really straight. It, it obviously worked out for him, but I thought it was really strange to hold on to that square for so long because obviously, as as you guys saw, it was it ended up being very close. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he almost took. And if I had made different decisions, uh, definitely could have been a quite a different game. Maybe I should have recognized that he didn't know I was in all this. But like even then, at that point, I, I thought it was like really unreasonable to not instantly go for the the way that you lose the game by just quickly spending you know five minutes to get radon's great rune and instead uh rushing like the altus objectives obviously like one or two i was thinking okay yeah maybe maybe he just wants to claim a couple squares and then go restore radon's great rune he knows he has a lead on it but he held on to it for like 30 minutes which i thought was wild and especially when the when the difference at the end ended up being within a minute or two yeah 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 i think i think i mentioned that a couple of times i'm surprised that he's been holding on to it for so long um but uh yeah it worked out at the end of the day too um and i'll be bringing in catalyst in here real quick real quick uh yo welcome to catalyst ggs dude congrats GG's. congratulations yo, on you. your win thank you um yeah gg Kata. yo gg bushi that was insane dude yeah, you had a hell of a comeback there. That was really nice. I was sweating by the end. Chat <laughs> just told me how some some like squares were omega close. So yeah, yeah, I, there I'm... were a lot of super close squares with the like the Radon's Great Rune, the ending there especially. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a very fun match to watch. Um, when it came well, I'm to glad uh... you enjoyed the show. Yeah, when it came to the beginning of the board, by the way, Kata, uh, did you see anything specific, like a bingo line that he wanted to go for, or were you just uh, trying to go for easy squares that you can grab uh, very quickly? Um, like, what was your your thought process at the beginning of the game? Um, so there weren't that many early squares, I thought, right? There was mm -hmm. the Tree Sentinel, there was the Remembrance Hitless, both in a really good position in the corners. So, mm -hmm. like, I eyed that. And, of course, I tried consumables only, but I fucked up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we saw And that. I was just gonna, like, kind of play it off of there. I, you know, I imagined that we would both start with the Dragon Scale Blade. So I thought to myself that, okay, I lost consumables only. Um, I'm gonna try to rush setting up the weapon so I can use it and then try to get the corner squares. And then basically the game just kind of, like, played from there. Yeah. yeah. Um, when it came to, by the way, so like mid game, uh, you had that uh, row three bingo from uh, Bushy kind of staring you in the face uh, for quite a while, and you had that Radon yeah. square way before him. Uh, what was your thought process when you were going through uh, when you grabbed that Radon uh, without summoning NPC square? Because that kind of indicates you know the Bushy, hey, he's got Altus access. Um, what was your plan beyond that? Did you know that Bushy didn't have Altus access? Were you just kind of like gambling with the fact that you had priority? Yeah, it was, it was, well, it ended up being way too close, apparently. Uh, so I probably shouldn't do that again. Uh, but I knew I had Altus access before Bushi. Mm -hmm. He didn't really show me anything uh, that he got, like, Altus access. But so I assume since I got the Radan square and everything, I, I just thought he was, like, quite far behind on Radan. So I just decided to hold it for a little bit. Like yeah. I've actually, this is this is a play that I've seen from Bushy before because I watched some of his practice, and so I basically just tried to use one of his tactics on him, and and, and it worked out. But I was very lucky. Yeah, that's good recognition to know when to just leave a, a square open because it is a bit of a time sink to go and run to that tower, uh, especially when you still have to beat Rudan and all that and get Altus access. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, but overall, man, GG's to, to both of you guys. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to, uh, 
If you guys have any questions for each other, you're more than welcome to to, to throw them out now. Uh, no. I mean, I I think the real pivotal moment was the Radon's great rune. the The timing actually worked out very well in your favor. You know, if the the goal on leaving those squares open is to um try to make your opponent waste as much time as you possibly can. Um, yeah. But obviously, the closer that that gets, the riskier it gets. Um, but yeah, since it was so close, you obviously got pretty much the perfect timing. Yeah, yeah it was it was basically just lucky because I I went for the Crystallian trio and I died there, and I think I like just gave out to the pressure and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go restore the freaking rune because this fight is gonna take forever. Like I saw my mm -hmm. damage with the with the blade. Um, so I went to restore it and yeah, fortunately it was the right play, but on a different day, um, yeah, the, the score could have been completely reversed. Yeah, like if you didn't die to the trio and just kept doing the fight, then yeah, Bushy would have gotten that bingo. So yep. it was kind mm -hmm. of a blessing in disguise. <laughs> and that's actually insane, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But hey, GG's to both of you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Good move into, into match two, but I uh, uh, really appreciate both of you guys playing to, uh, this week. Uh, it was very, very fun to watch, and best of luck uh, next week.